This site contains the mummified remains of individuals of the Chinchorro culture in the Atacama Desert coast of northern Chile. The earliest natural mummified corpse dates back to 7020 BC, while artificially mummified individuals first appeared around 5000 BC and reached a peak at 3000 BC. Though the ancient Egyptians are the most well-known practitioners of artificial mummification, the Chinchorro culture performed this process around 2,000 years before the Egyptians. Unlike the Egyptians, the Chinchorro people performed mummification on all members of its society. In fact, children and babies had the most elaborate treatments. Tragically, it is believed that the root cause of this practice was due to contaminated drinking water in the area from nearby volcanoes. Arsenic poisoning led to a high rate of miscarriages, and sorrow over these deaths may have caused the community to begin preserving the infant bodies. The methods of mummification were so sophisticated that skin, bones, and hair are still preserved in some cases. Among the different techniques that the Chinchoro people used, the two that are most common are called the black and red mummy techniques. Used from 5000 to 3000 BC, the black mummy technique involved dismembering the deceased person's body, with each piece being treated individually before the corpse is reassembled. Any part of the body containing moisture, such as connective tissue, muscle, and fat, were stripped from the bone. The bones are then dried with heat, possibly with ashes or coal. Each piece of the body is then put back together and covered with white ash paste, and gaps are filled with grass, ashes, animal hair, and other materials. The deceased person's facial features are then recreated with a white ash paste. The skin, which was stripped off in mostly one piece, is then wrapped back around the body. Finally, the mummy is painted with black manganese, hence its name. The red mummy technique was used from about 2500 BC to 2000 BC. The cuts were made along the torso of the body to remove the internal organs. Then. The head is cut off to remove the brain. The body is stuffed with various materials to give it a human shape, with sticks being used as an artificial skeleton. After sewing up the incisions, the head is then reattached and a wig made from human hair is slid onto the scalp. The wig is kept in place with a hat made from black clay, and the entire mummy aside from the wig is then painted with red ochre, hence the name of the red mummy. The environment of the Atacama Desert had optimal conditions for preserving organic material. For one, the soil in the area was very rich in nitrates, which, when combined with other factors, such as the aridness of the Atacama Desert, ensured organic preservation. Not only that, but salts in the sand also halted bacterial growth. Finally, the high temperature and low moisture resulted in desiccation, which is evaporation of bodily fluids within the corpses. Despite the conditions of their environment being a major factor, the Chinchoro people ensured preservation of the deceased by covering them with clay. Other artificial indicators of this site include the artifacts that they were buried with. The Chinchoro people were shown to have a diet mostly consisting of seafood, and so many of the artifacts reflected that diet. This includes harpoons and fish hooks made out of polished shells. If not for the dry climate, the skin and organs of these mummies would not have remained. In recent years, the skin of some mummies in the collection at the University of Tarapaco were decomposing. This is because common skin microorganisms benign in the dry desert climate have begun consuming the mummy's collagen. New mummies found at excavation sites near Arica are already showing signs of deterioration, which is the first example of deterioration caused by climate change due to increased humidity. Currently, preservers are experimenting with levels of humidity and temperature. Through the remarkable preservation of this archaeological site, we were able to learn of the egalitarian structure of Chinchoro society. Every member of their community, regardless of age or social class, were given the same fair burial. The morbid beauty of the mummies contribute to our knowledge of how death affects a human condition. Made to withstand time, these bodies were preserved meticulously to celebrate the life of every individual that has passed.